Hello and welcome back to the Parenting Burrito, formerly known as Parent Talk. This is a podcast that wraps up parenting lifestyle all into one place. We talk about the real struggles, the real fails, and the real happiness that we all experience as a parent. If there's one thing I want you to take from this podcast, it is knowing that you are not alone in your feelings, actions, and emotions. We are not perfect and there's no need to pretend to be. I'm your host, Alexandria, and I am so glad that you've joined me today. So let's start off with an affirmation. I want you to say this affirmation out loud um, and take a deep breath in and really feel what you're saying. Um, So let's say it together. So today's affirmation is, I am patient and I am kind. And this is something I need to remind myself on a daily basis because I sometimes do lose my shit. Um, So let's say it together. I am patient and I am kind. Don't forget to breathe in and breathe out. Saying affirmations out loud is probably the best way to do affirmations in general. Um is really helpful. So today's topic is the sensitive child. I have a child who was diagnosed with a sensory disorder back when I was dealing with CPS and things like that. Um, He is the younger one of my twins and man the reason why I chose the affirmation that I chose today is a hundred percent for him because he tries my patience and I'm not patient enough with him I can fully admit that um he's just the type of kid who thinks outside the box and it's literally the best way to describe him, um, which makes him sensitive to the world because he doesn't he doesn't think the same, he doesn't act the same. Um, things like textures and clothing being a certain length um, really affects his overall everyday lifestyle and well being, and it's. And it's hard sometimes, especially when you're running late and you just want him to hurry up. But he's not the type you can hurry. He goes on his own time. And and I know, like, some of you are probably thinking, every kid's like that. No, 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 no. This is, Kids who have sensory disorders are, like, borderline autistic. And you can't treat autistic kids and normal kids are the same it's just it doesn't work and you just can't they they're too different they think differently they act differently everything about them is differently they even learn differently I'm currently homeschooling and the amount of frustration and crying that I get from my youngest and I try my very best to be patient with him but the amount of crying that I get back on a daily basis just like I'll get crying just because I'm making him sound out words right next to me as I'm trying to help him like it's just things like that it makes it really hard to parent he definitely takes up a lot more of my attention um when things are stressful or heightened for me um but when things are less stressful and less heightened, he's a really good kid. He's really smart and he really makes sure that you see the other perspective of life that you're supposed to be seeing. He really teaches you a lot about life. He makes you think about the words that you speak, how you act, how you move, how you think. Just everything about him really challenges you to really open up your mind and be 
a different person or a better person and a better parent. Um, I know that there are parents out there who are who have sensitive children, which sensitive to them probably means something different than me. Um, sensitive to them could mean that their child cries a lot and is very emotional and things like that. My daughter is like that. Yes, his twin is like that. Um, but this is a different kind of sensitive. Like I said, he thinks outside the box and it's really hard to sum up his personality because it's out there (laughs) is the best way to put it and you know I would love some advice on how to be more patient um, because I know that I do lose my shit sometimes and it's not fair it's out of frustration because I'm so used to being go 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 and we got to do this at this time and if it's not done we got to move on he requires extra time he definitely makes me slow down and and that frustrates me sometimes because I just want to get it done and over with but I have to also remember that he is still learning and growing as a little human being so I do have to make sure to spend that extra time with him because it is important it's important for his development because he's developing differently than my other two my other two are very advanced very smart um, athletic or not athletically, um, academically advanced. Hiram, who is my youngest and the younger twin, the sensitive child, he is smart, um, but in a different way. He's not necessarily book smart. Like he struggles with like reading and writing, um, but he's smart mathematically and scientifically and creative he's super creative you know things I think that's why he struggles with math because normal kids um would be like oh my cat jumped he would be like my lion or I don't I can't even think of an answer that would be close to his but I think you kind of get the point but I do want to give props to every parent who does have a sensitive child even the parents who don't, being a parent is hard. Just, you know that quote, just when you think you get the hang of it, a whole new level of child happens. That's how it is with a sensitive child every single day. When you think you finally got the hang of it at the end of the day, the next day throws you for a whole nother loop. And it keeps you on your toes. I don't know if it keeps you young, but it keeps you on your toes And you always have to learn to develop and do everything, develop and adapt quickly. (laughs) That should be my new motto. I can develop and adapt quickly. You should say that to myself every single day. All right, so we are running pretty close to out of time. Um, So if you loved what you heard today, show your support on buymecoffee.com slash inspo family blog. And remember, Inspo Family is a place where families grow, so grow through kindness because kindness matters, and so do you. For more great content, please visit InspoFamily.com. Thanks for listening, guys. Y'all have a great day.